a, a wall mounted light from the outside I'm going to go and indicate it slightly off of the wall keep about a millimeter or so off of the wall and um, I would for neatness sake go and use the wall mount just remember that little line over there that's horizontal with the the the, the or parallel with the actual wall is the wall mount and then the actual light is my little cross over here I'm going to now also include a light on the inside so it's a simple cross just remember that when you are making your crosses try and keep them as as neat as possible that cross should theoretically fit inside of a box if I had to join over there like that it should fit in fit inside of a box so it must be nice and neat okay and I would probably have another light in this room over here whether it be a, a bathroom or maybe a, a study depending on on the kind of dwelling that I have so remember this is a dwelling that's why my door is uh, this door over here is opening to the inside a switch on this end over here as I walk into my door I need to be able to reach and switch my light on uh, just for the purpose of this video I'm going freehand um, unless specified by the question you will also go freehand and you will then include uh, your your feathers the feather is going to be uh, whether it's a single pole double pole so uh, this one over here is typically going to be set for the outside one so I'm going to lay the electrical cable with a squiggly line and please note that it is touching the center portion of my light it's not going from the feather okay that's a common mistake that uh, gets made um, if I am going to make this a a, um, a switch that's going to also switch on this light over here I'll connect it like so and I will be able to go ahead and put a second portion to the feather uh, over there like that that means that I have two options to be able to switch on the wall mounted light and the roof mounted light uh, separately And I need to indicate clearly, nice and neatly, what I have of it. Okay, you'll have two of them, but you'll only indicate it as one line. Okay, so how would I go ahead and connect it? The connection from a switch, so as I walk, I've got enough light over here now. Okay, I'm going to walk down the passageway and I might want to have another switch over here remember you're not not touching it okay it's not touching the wall just like I don't have it touching the wall you must draw it off the wall and it will also have a little switch like that okay this one will be indicated from the switch to the end of the fluorescent light a switch socket outlet now indicate one over here just please remember that you'll yet again not have it um, touching the wall have a little half moon over here like so the socket outlet alone will have a little line that's your little plug point over there but if it's a switched socket outlet I'll include a switch Okay, so take note what the question is actually asking of you. 